In focus today, video game lovers have answered the call to arms. The anti-terrorism themed video game Call to Duty Modern Warfare 2 has broken all kinds of sales records since its release on Tuesday. But while it's a hit with gamers, some say it crosses the line. Joining me now from the Suffolk University NECN downtown Boston studio with more, associate professor and video gaming expert Nina Hunneman. Professor, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, boy, this was the most anticipated release of the holiday season, and it hasn't been a disappointment. Give us some of the numbers. Sure. Um, just heard this morning that the game has sold 9.4 million copies, generating about $600 million. And that's just, I believe, uh, UK, US, and France sales. So it's probably going to have a lot more to come. Now, this is a, a controversial game, I guess, in a couple of reasons. And you told me before we went on the air that it was banned in Russia this morning. Yeah, it was banned in Russia specifically for one scene that I guess the Russian government has found offensive. And the scene is now infamous. Uh, your player uh, in, enters into an airport in Russia and uh, some of the bad guys that your player is covertly uh, joined uh, shoot down civilians. So for reasons that I guess the Russian government have decided are too offensive, they've banned the game. Now the makers of the game, Infinity Ward, have said that they are going to cut that scene out, sort of modify the game, and then the game will be available to Russian players. Is there anyone or any organization or, that, that puts boundaries or limits on these video games in terms of the amount of violence? Sure, sure. The Entertainment Software Ratings Board uh, essentially is the ratings board for video game industry, much like the uh, Motion Picture Association rates movies. And this game is rated M, which is uh, suggested for those 17 and older to play only. Now, what, how, how big an industry is this? I mean, this, this is astounding to me that it sold this many copies in, what, five days. But generally, sure. uh, you study this topic. How, how, in, how, how big an industry is it? I think it surprises a lot of people to learn that the video game industry is actually the fastest growing segment of the media industries, especially when a lot of the other industries are shrinking. You know, advertising sales are down, so television revenue shrinking, uh, movie goers aren't going to films as much as they would. It doesn't seem to be affecting video games quite as much. They did have a, a smaller numbers in October, but with the holiday season right around the corner, I, I don't expect the, the industry to suffer much. So in terms of numbers, yeah, they're right up there. Largest grossing game with Modern Warfare is just uh, the beginning. We've got um, Assassin's Creed 2 coming out at the end of this week, and that's going to be a huge seller. I mean, there's no doubt that uh, video games are essential cultural um, entertainment for people. And they said, uh, Nina, is there any evidence that uh, this, this kind of video game inspires violence in youngsters? No, there isn't. Uh, it's sort of a myth. Uh, people assume that playing violent video games will make you violent. And that's not really uh, what we know research-wise. One of the things that I think is interesting about modern warfare and any game that's based on a military conflict is that while it doesn't inspire violence uh, in any direct way, it does prevent a very narrow view of war and a somewhat problematic view of war. Obviously, the focus is on conflict. Um, it's on the technologies of war with very little room or discussion about sort of the geopolitical and historical aspects of war, even to some extent the reasons why we're in conflict, and certainly very little uh, focus on the consequences to the local population, to infrastructure, and so forth. All right. Thanks, Professor Nina Hunterman of Suffolk University. And I keep thinking, whatever happened to Pac-Man and Super Mario? Thanks for being <laughs> with us. You're welcome.